Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and it is November 3rd in the morning. Um, we are selling, we're going to sell eggs today. Normally, I would let most of the day pass just so we could produce a little bit more, but the price right now um, at Johnson's Farmer's Market is really high, but it's going down. Um, it's over $1,400 at Johnson's right at the moment. Um, and 1382 is really was the high, I guess, from last year. So I don't think I want to wait since that price is dropping. I think we're going to just go ahead and get it done now. So let's jump in the pickup truck, get the um, flatbed connected and get some eggs sold. So we're going to have um, most of the eggs are going to be in the warehouse, but we'll also have a few more over at the chicken coop that we can pick up. right on over here I'm expecting around 60 grand uh, from the eggs this time around okay so we want eggs click OK we want 35 pallets nice that is gonna be a nice run for us for sure okay let's start loading them up Let's just wait a second and make sure no more are coming out, but I think that's probably... Yeah, okay, so that's all of them. All right, let's go pick up whatever is also over at the chicken coops, and we'll run these up to Johnson's and make some money. Or maybe I should say we'll lag these up to Johnson's and make some money. <laughs> it's crazy. Our bakery is should be completely full of eggs, which is our only uh, production that consumes eggs. So we should be good to go there. Look at all those eggs. It's a beautiful sight. Okay, let's just make sure that the bakery is completely full. Uh, yep, it's completely chock full of eggs, so we're good. All right, I will meet you guys up at Johnson's. I'm going to cut the camera here so uh, I don't kill everybody's migraines with all the lag that's going to take to get up there. <laughs> I'll see you up there. Seventy-one thousand seven hundred and twenty-one dollars. That is good. That's like eleven thousand dollars more than I was expecting. I'll take it. Yeah. All right. Very good. Um, does that give us enough money to pay off our bank loan and still have some operating cash? So we're not paying interest. Uh, no, I guess we borrowed two hundred thousand. Okay. Well, let's pay some of this off. Um, so we'll bring our money down to around thirty grand for operating cash. That's pretty close. Okay, so now we only owe the bank $75,000. <clears> cool. If you didn't catch the last episode, we had to take that loan out because um, we had to buy another silage factory. And we're going to be getting a lot more of those before it's all said and done, too. Fantastic. All right. All right, guys, I think we're finished for November. Uh, we, I believe we're going to have some things to sell in December as well. Uh, but let's get back to the ranch, and we'll take a quick look before we roll over into the next day. I think we should probably give our trailer and pick up a bit of a washing, too. They're about due for that. The deck's all scratched and gouged looking, which is very realistic. Okay, let's just double check, make sure there isn't anything else. 
that we could potentially sell here in November. Oh, that's not good. The milk will come up in January. I might try and hang on to the rest of the milk that we currently have in production because we have quite a bit in our dairy just so we can sell some of it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, we could sell some straw, but that'll be next month. Uh, what about flour? Yeah, flour is going to be next month. Bread's going to be next month. Cake, we're going to probably go ahead and sell in January. Likewise, butter and cheese will be January. Clothes isn't till April. And chocolate will be in January. Okay, yeah, so there's nothing else to sell here in November. So I'm going to go ahead and move into December, and then we'll have a few more things to sell in December. So I'll see you tomorrow morning. All right, guys. It is December 1st, and I'm going to do another feed mixture uh, just so we don't have to really worry about the cows on, on January because we're going to be so busy selling. So let's get them a full mixture going, and then they'll be good to go. And we might top the sheep off too. That is really dark. Let's at least turn our lights on here. Um, and then, like I mentioned, we will do our sales for December. Uh, oh, before I forget, let's go ahead and take a look at our money for November. Uh, so we spent $301,000 uh, primarily on the silage factory in November, uh, 8900 and change on vehicle running costs, 5800 on leasing, property maintenance 2500 Production cost 28, 17. Um, we made a total of 179,653 on sold products. 71,000 of that was from uh, the eggs, and the rest of it was from our greenhouses. Water was 620. Our wage payments were 4,196. Loan interest was 527. And we paid $3,032 for pallet distribution and greenhouse our greenhouse manager okay so that is where we're sitting with our finances i'm going to run over and grab the telehandler oh speaking of telehandlers well not really telehandlers but look what's in the sale this is tempting this is a claus torion 1914 i think uh, is that the biggest wheel loader it is so this wheel loader is normally um and it's on sale. And this, this is like the first time I remember ever seeing this thing come on sale. It's like the, the top end front uh, wheel or yeah, front loader, wheel loader, whatever in the base game. Anyway, we don't technically need it, but on the other hand, because it doesn't come up for sale very often, we could certainly make use of it. It would take over for a lot of the jobs that the telehandler is doing and has you know bigger implements but yeah I, it's one of those things where we don't really need it right now it would not necessarily be a bad idea to get it to take advantage of the price but we don't really need it right now <laughs> that's what it really boils down to um and i don't want to take out another yet another loan for something that we don't really need if we if it's something we really needed like the you know the second silage factory that's a different story but so i think we're going to pass on it as much as it kind of pains me to do so all right so let's get this mixture going here we're getting really close to uh, wrapping up the silage in the bunker so i don't think we'll get all of it this time around but if not this time, then probably next time. So let's just see what we get. We want to pull about 6,500 liters out of the bunker. Okay, so we only want 1,500 in the bucket now. 
It's just a little shy, but I think we'll be okay. So yeah, I guess we may have a whole nother mixture load in there yet. Gonna be close. Okay, let's pull out a couple of bales. Uh, hay bales to be precise, and one straw bale. Oh, darn it. I shouldn't have put the telehandler away. I wanted to give both of the sheep a, an extra bale of hay. So we'll come back and grab those. Okay, good. So that tops the cows off. Plus we have 64% more in the wagon. Uh, so we should be good. They should be good all the way through January with this setup. So that is a good thing. Let's turn this off, kill the lights, and go grab those two hay bales for the sheep. I guess we can um, grab this wool too. Okay, we'll have to put the rest in the warehouse. Oh, I forgot to put my rollers away. Gotta do that too. All right, let's go park the telehandler. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do now is let's take a look at the prices and see if there's something that's significantly high for what we're going to sell this month. So we are planning on selling, uh, it's December, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, straw, straw doesn't matter so much because we're not going to get any more of it before the end of the month. It's stuff that we can might be able to squeeze a couple more things out. Okay. So bread is 1734. And 1777 at MJ's Mini Mart. Wow, that's a pretty good price. And it's going down. We better take advantage of that. Okay. What about cake? Um, no, we're not doing cake till January. Flour. Flour is 653. 673. Well, no, that's my own bakery, so that doesn't count. So the grocery mart is doing six sixty nine, and the price is dropping. Yeah, we better take advantage of that too. Uh, we're not doing butter and cheese till January, so it's basically bread and flour and straw that we're doing. Because chocolate's not till January. Okay. So bread and flour. And then we'll we'll uh, worry about straw later. We're not going to sell a ton of straw because I don't have a ton of straw to sell like I usually do. But we might as well sell some of it because we have more than we than we need. Let's do the bread first. Twenty-six thousand two hundred eighty-nine liters. 27 pallets of bread. Nice. Okay. That's just going to go right over to MJ's Mini Mart. Uh, 
Um, didn't it say there was 27 pallets? That's not 27 pallets. That's 16 pallets. All right, what's going on here? Did I miss misread it? I must have I must have misclicked something. Okay, so that's 24 to five. Just yeah, that's that's correct. Okay. Oh, that other one's a little too far away, but we made $43,000 off of just that. Whoa. It spawned me inside of the... Inside of the Mini Mart. <laughs> uh, okay. Here. Can I just do this? There we go. That was weird. Okay, so we made a little over $46,000 off of just the bread alone. That's pretty doggone good. Pretty doggone good. All right. Now let's go grab the flour. Six pallets. So we don't have a ton of extra flour, but enough to make a little more money. Because we have a big, giant wheat field that we're going to be harvesting later on in the year. Okay, who's got the best price on flour? Six sixty-nine grocery mart. Yeah, okay. Thirty-five hundred and sixty-four dollars. Not a ton of money, but every little bit helps. Okay, I think that wraps up our, uh, oh, no, we wanted to sell a little bit of straw, didn't we? Okay. Um, if we're going to do a load of straw, we should probably do it on the big flatbed. So let's get that hooked up and over to the barn. Oh, this might be a problem. It's probably going to try and load the silage bales okay we're gonna have to move these so yeah let's get these out of the way because otherwise it's gonna mess us up when we try to load the straw um we're gonna sell these next month so i'm just gonna put them the hay isn't gonna grow before then but I also don't want to put it right in the kind of the driving path there either. Yeah, I think we'll be okay here. Yeah, it's not loading those. Okay. Um, so we can do 33 bales, I think, on a load. So we're maybe just gonna do one load. Let's let's do it one for sure, and then we'll kind of see what things are looking like. Oh, here, do it this way. 11, 21, 31, 32, or 33. Yeah, I think that's all I want to sell. 
We'll keep the rest of it. Okay, so who has the best price on straw? It looks like South Valley Biomass does. All right, let's go over there. $14,569 Mickey Hala. Okay. So that brings us up to $131,674. Let's immediately pay the rest of our bank loan off. So we get that taken care of. And we still have $51,674 of operating cash left over. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. So yeah, that should conclude our December sales. So I'm going to go back to the base. I'm going to sleep until uh, January 1st. And then we will have our big January sales. And we'll see how things go this time around. Uh, last time, last year, we, we still had a pretty significant bank loan that we had to pay off so I don't think we quite cleared a million last year but this year you know now with that bank loan paid off I'm expecting at least a million and probably a little more but we'll see how it goes maybe not well actually no wait I should take that back we probably am not are not going to get a million because we're not selling all of the produce pallets we've been getting that money throughout the year so it's probably going to be more like somewhere around 500 grand, I think. Yeah, I forgot about that. Okay, well, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I, I like the new way we're doing things anyway, though, because, A, we don't have to go to that big pain-in-the-butt hassle to sell all those pallets in January, and, B, it gives us money throughout the year. Um, you know, so we're not... We still have to take a loan out a, a time or two, but... That's because, you know, we're putting that money to work for us. So I think it's working out pretty good so far. Nevertheless, I will see you um, in January. And I think probably in the next episode, too, because we're probably pretty close to running out of time in this episode. And even if, we, if it's a little shorter than normal, it's all right, because I also do long episodes sometimes, too. So it all evens out, doesn't it? All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.